Well, welcome back to uh, Stag Stuff. Um, actually, this the, the I've just changed the name of the channel. Rather than just having my name, I thought I'd call it this because it seemed like a good idea. Um, I wasn't expecting to put a post on just yet, um, not until after I'd come back from Scotland. But as is always the way with um, <laughs> an old car, um, stuff happens which is why I actually thought of the name, Stag Stuff. Because I was out yesterday and all of a sudden um, the old girl decided to develop a misfire and the thing that gave away what the problem was was that the rev counter also went sort of wildly all over the place with the needle. And... It would be intermittent, so it'd be fine. Then it would cough, cough, splutter, splutter. Then fine again, cough, cough, splutter, splutter. It was like that there was a fuel problem, but actually it wasn't. So uh, let's have a look at it. So the problem was actually the fuses. Um, let's just take this off. And uh, for the eagle-eyed of you, you will know that actually the cover should be this way up. Um, in a previous video I did, I replaced the um, fuse array and only realised when I went to fit the cover here that I fitted it upside down. So don't worry about that. Um, but basically the fuses are that way round. And I had this problem, exactly the same problem, a few years ago at, in fact, one of the um, get-togethers, the um, Pershaw Plum Festival. And all of a sudden, Rev Counter was going wildly, wildly all over the place. And I found out that I actually had a dodgy fuse. The fuse looked fine, but actually it was just a, a bad connection. So with a bit of wet and dry, cleaned this up, and I went to clean this uh, well, not this fuse, because in fact, this uh, this, <laughs> this is a replacement. The fuse literally fell apart in my hands yesterday. The top of it just fell off, um, denoting, obviously, a very bad contact. So, if you get that problem, chances are it'll either be number one or number two, which is the battery control or the ignition control. Um, that's what these two fuses are. They're both 35 amps. It's always a good idea to carry some spare fuses anyway. Um, but that was the issue. Simple as that. So basically, uh, while I was out, all I did was just wiggle, 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 wiggle. Just basically pushed it up and down, up and down, up and down, just so that we got a clean contact. And then yesterday afternoon, I took each and every one of these fuses out anyway, because I was thinking, oh gosh, you know, if I've got a, a fuse issue, just because one is faulty, it might mean that another one is. And in fact, three of my other fuses, uh, the uh, tops and bottoms were actually loose. Um, so they've been replaced. All of the contacts have now been cleaned up. And uh, she's now running like a dream. And in fact, as soon as I just wiggled this fuse up and down a few times, that was it. Pro problem over. All sorted. So guys, that's just a, a short and sweet post, just in case that sort of problem happens to you. So uh, you develop a misfire, and then the rev counter's going a bit funny. Um, it is just as simple as a bad connection on your fuse. So until next time, and hopefully it will be up in Scotland that I, well, the, for the trip up to Scotland that I see you next, stay well and stay safe.